So you felt like Speak I carried it. myself, a, okay, aggressively? Yes. A little bit. I, like yes, I said, I don't know if it was the, the drinks, but it was. No, this is yeah, how I okay, am all it, the time. It wasn't pleasant. I say that. It wasn't pleasant. Yeah. Do y'all all feel that way? I don't see no blood. I feel like y'all. I feel like y'all intimidated. I feel like I'm a very pleasant person. I feel like I understand the physical attraction. Me too. I pay attention to detail. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy RJ. Today we're gonna be checking out Pop the Balloon. So let's go ahead and not waste no time and get straight into it. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, hey. welcome in. What's your name? Dorian. Dorian, how old are you? I'm 27. Okay, and what do you do? Um, I work for a Fortune 50 um, company as an insurance agent. I also rap. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, very cool. Yeah. Rapper. <laughs> uh, now, okay. Uh, okay. I know you see rap. What else do you do for fun? Um, for fun, I like to travel a lot. I like to stamp my passport. I'm very adventurous, skydiving, jet skiing, whatever the world brings us. Nice, okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, what is, wow. Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y'all don't like to travel? I guess not. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? What do I look for in a man? I really like an outgoing guy. I'm a very outgoing person, respectful, um, emotionally intelligent, and I also like a man that makes as much money as me, or more. Mm, okay. Exactly. Nice. Get the bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers? <sighs> felonies, but the felonies as far as sexual, mm. violent, Small penis. <laughs> right. Deal breaker. All right. <laughs> All right, so Period. we did get- I'm just being honest. We did get a couple pop balloons. That's fine. Let's go ahead and they see why wish they ended didn't up pop popping. It. Mm -hmm. All right, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name's Dante, I'm 25. And why'd you pop Dante? Don't, don't get on the internet, bro. Um, Spots on your stain and your little dress. I was in the bag drunk, so whatever. Oh, yeah. Hey, I mean, I can't it's do fine. That. It's a $300 dress. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, it's the $300 dress. My bad. I got a little makeup on it. Just She has no decorum about herself, and it's clear. I was thinking that. I'm like, she got to be drunk or high, because the way she acting is just a little bit too, a little bit too open. You, you know, it's a it's, it's good to have a level of, you know, decorum about yourself, right? A level of, like, professionalism. You ain't got to be, like, super uptight, but just be, you know, just be cool. You ain't got to do the most. And she kind of doing the most right now. She feeling herself. That's why she doing the most. So I will, so will kind of give her, I'll kind of give her a pass on some of her bad behavior because she drinking. But it, the, the reason why I want to take the pass away is because you know you about to be on the internet with a channel that's got millions of followers. It gets millions of views. Why are you getting drunk? Why are you getting drunk? You, you want her to find love, and the first thing you want your love to see about you was that you just drunk? To show is like, you paying attention to care, stuff like that, you feel mm -hmm. me? You trying to be presentable, just that, yeah. Okay. You feel me? That's Respect all. that. She pretty. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Now, is he someone that's your type? Um, no, I'm not going to. Where are you from? From Michigan. He's from Michigan, and he has a cowboy hat on. Disrespectful. No, I can see if he's from Texas or something. I feel like Southern boys wear the cowboy hats. I'm not a big fan of the cowboy hat. Y'all are so mean. That's they got crazy. country boys in Michigan. <laughs> Anyways, next. That's crazy. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Ryan. I'm 26. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. And... I think you just had an unwelcoming demeanor, and that's that was fact. it. That's fact. We know why. Why? I mean, you know, everybody popped their balloon, so I might as well be honest. I mean, I, I don't want to get into it, but I can understand why you would think I have an unwelcoming demeanor. But you're very handsome, Ryan. I love your dimples, but I'm actually very much a sweetheart. Next. We can't tell. We can't tell. <laughs> Name an agent why you ended up popping. Chris, 27. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't do those skydiving, you know, I'm, I'm scared of heights. Mm. And so I had, I had problems in my past with my last girl. She was tweaking with me because I didn't want to do the little, with the, uh, the Superman thing in Vegas. We then broke up over that. Oh. Yeah, it was bad. Okay. Okay. And you said your name is? Chris. 
Chris, so you popped my balloon because you don't like skydiving. You said you like doing adventurous stuff, skydiving. What'd you say, jumping out of airplanes, uh, roller coasters? I don't do that. I mean, but she asked me what I like to do. She didn't ask you what you like to do. But I mean, I understand if you don't like skydiving. We could have went on a nice dinner date. You're very handsome. I love the Balabas's pants. I got a couple pair myself. Mm. I like the outfit. You know, I don't think you, I think you're going to regret popping your balloon. But I understand if you don't want to go <laughs> skydiving. Everybody need a woman to get them out their comfort zone. So now, apart from her saying, you know, the skydiving, whatever it is, is she someone that is your type? Yeah, for sure. Okay. And yeah, no, I mean, I, I like the demeanor. I ain't gonna lie. Thank you. That ain't a problem with me at all. Mm -hmm. I like the demeanor. I wouldn't make you skydive. If you said no, I would take no for an answer. Okay. Yeah, but okay. you can follow my Instagram. I think I can get you to skydive. You think so? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I feel a little mm -hmm. vibe here. You want that balloon back? Don't, don't, don't take. He don't gotta balloon, take his dog. balloon back. We not begging. Let's go to the next. Oh, no. We're not begging, he but he looks like he's balloon, feeling you, girl. Dog. He looks like he's if you don't want to skydive, I understand. But you gotta get out your comfort zone. You gotta explore different things. You gotta enjoy your life. You, you young, so. How you gonna tell a man what he gotta do? See, that's what you gonna deal with if you date this lady, or you date ladies like her. They're gonna tell you what you gotta do, and then when you do it, they gonna tell you you shouldn't have did it because you should have did it. Because that's what you wanted to do. That's how these ladies are. You gotta be, you gotta pay attention to not what's not said. That's what's not said. Hey, you ain't lying. Yeah. You're good. We gonna move on then. <laughs> All right, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is John, I'm 31. Mm -hmm. And I popped my balloon because you came out a little aggressive. You feel me? I like femininity. I'm not saying you not feminine, but your demeanor, maybe it's the liquor, you feel me? But No. And I think we're from the same city, and I'm mm -hmm. not trying to date no women from that. So oh, you tried to give her from Indiana. Oh my so. gosh, I love that. So first of all, what side of Indianapolis are you I'm from? From the east side. What part? Uh, Arlington. You from Arlington, like yeah. 46? 46 in Arlington. All right, shout out to the east side of Indianapolis. Shout out. If you're from Indianapolis, you know why I'm like I am the way I am. I'm from the east side. I mean, aggressive is crazy. Femininity is crazy. I feel like my hair is done, my nails is I'm done. I'm not saying you're not feminine. I said, but you came out a little aggressive. And Did it was I like, cuss? You was on a de defensive mode. No, I think you guys all look handsome. I just, I'm just very like, this is my personality. I don't feel like I got to tone down for nobody. But I respect that you want somebody that maybe you can run over. No. See, nah, bro. Don't let don't let them do you like that. That's she. What she's doing, we call that gaslighting. She's gaslighting this man into feeling bad about not wanting a disrespectful woman, about not wanting a woman who doesn't act like a lady. She acts like one of the homies. He, she's trying to gaslight this man into believing that what he is looking for is wrong because the women that don't act like her get ran over. And that's the bullshit a lot of women have been fed. Like that, but. But you're very handsome. I love the slugs. I'm from Indianapolis. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you. I'm from too. the east side of Indianapolis. Actually, I'm from. Well, maybe like, we need to link on some friendship shit. Though. Friendship? Yeah. I don't think I want to be your friend. You embarrass me on public YouTube <laughs> with 1.5 million people. But I think wow. that if you go home and then you mention my name, I think that you'll be presently surprised. Like, I can't talk, but anyways, you'll be <laughs> pleasantly surprised. I think you will actually hit me up after that. Right, well, you're very it. handsome. I love a chocolate man. Love your dreads. You look good. I like the Jordans. 10 out of 10. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. Uh, I'm Trey, 25, and I believe our, our temperaments would clash. Uh, the personalities that we have, uh, I'm not a big fan of, of drunkenness in public or okay. just the idea of it's just how it comes across. It's not I'm not mm -hmm. tagging you with that. I'm just saying that's how it came across at first. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's really it. I believe I believe you're actually beautiful. Thank you. You kind of favorite Glorilla. That to me. That's why Glorilla I was, is crazy. I think Glorilla is beautiful. I'm dark skinned. I think more like Kelly Rowland, but I appreciate the compliment. That's that's fine as well. Hold Gracias. on, hold on. We need to investigate this. The man made a um made a comment that said she looked like Glorilla. I would agree, but she says she looks more like Kelly Rowland. So let's go ahead and look these people up real quick. Oh, specifically right here. Look at her. Look at Glorilla. Yes. But and but that's really it. I just believe our temperaments will clash. That's okay. all. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. Is he someone that you're eight or skydiving with somebody that ha wears pearls? I'm not drunk at all. A little tipsy, you know. They gave us some drinks in the back, but I feel like I'm really put together. I feel like I'm carrying carrying myself classy. Absolutely. But if that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. I don't like the pants. I'm gonna be honest. I think that since you're light skin, you should have worn something a little bit more, <laughs> less olive. But okay. But you're handsome though. Thank you. Love your beard. I love the earrings. She I think the gold beard, looks. 
Hold on. She called it a beard, y'all. Yeah, we called I think, it a goatee I think, for a minute. Think, it's a beard I, now, you feel me? I think that, honestly, opposites attract. So I feel like if you feel like our temperaments would clash, yeah. I feel like you should get a little bit more... What's that mean? Confidence. I don't know. I That's think what you, you be doing with some I, I, What? How does that even make sense? He told you we're not going to com be compatible because I see your personality. You put it on Front Street. I know my personality, and I don't see just based on what I know us really vibing. And she, uh, she, uh, she takes that and transform it into having a lack of confidence. Hey, you can't make this shit up. I think that you should maybe date somebody that is more out there and get you out your comfort zone. I appreciate the input. Yeah, Thank you. You're welcome, handsome. Terrible dating advice. Yeah. Over here. Mm -hmm. Your name and age and why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm so sad. How you doing? My name is Nazi. I'm 25 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I popped my balloon. I just didn't like the going back and forth with people. It's just not for me. That's all. Okay. But you're very pretty. You know. Gracias for the compliment. Thank you. I'm not going to say it's going back and forth. Going back and forth sounds more like an argument. I feel like you guys stated your opinions about me and how you felt. And I feel like I gave you my opinions about y'all. I don't think it's a go going back and forth. I think that we're all adults and we should respect, um, respect each other's opinions. So, I mean, if that's how you feel, that, that's a red flag to me. Because imagine if we didn't agree on something and I said what I said and you said what you said. Now you feel no. like I'm going back and forth like a kid. No, it's just we just disagree. But I respect that. I think you're very handsome. Your hair is curly. You look good. Thank you. I like the shirt. Where you get it from? <laughs> My mama. Your mama. mom. Bless your mom. She's a great mom. It, it's nice. It's well tailored. No, it's real tailored. I like the gold. I like that. You, you look good. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Let's go to our next guy. Mm -hmm. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? Uh, I really want to know. Uh, yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. Mm -hmm. uh, really, uh, to be honest, man, the physical attraction just isn't there. But I was going to give you a chance. I was going to hear you out. You know, it's not, I mean, you don't look bad at all. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you, you know, you look pretty good. But then you said you rap. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm not really cool with that. And then all the traveling and stuff. So, like, the rapping, the traveling, the mm -hmm. being out, it's just, I don't like a busy woman like that. That's too. Doing a little bit too much, yeah. Okay, and that's understandable. Like, it pretty much, it went back and forth almost every dude up here. No. So I feel like it kind of a little argumentative a little bit. So like, that's I can see us being out on a date. Speak on it. You going back and forth with a waiter because something ain't cooked right. Or, like, wow. So you think I d uh, disrespect uh, civilians and people that serve other people yes, and do their do. job? Yes, we do. They're civilians, but they all gave their opinion on me and what they didn't like about me, and I gave my opinion about back. Well, I'm just saying it was real. Like it was, it was pretty strong. Like it wasn't it's really. I'm not saying you don't have class, but I'm just saying it wasn't like nah, classy. Nah, she ain't got like, no class, you... bro. She ain't got okay. no class. Okay, okay, he's done. It's but, my turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, you go ahead. She can't okay, wait physical to talk. attraction. Look at her. So, Look what's at her. the physical attraction? I would love for you to get in detail. I mean, it's just not like if, if I seen you out in the grocery store in the mall or something. I just like, I mean, you don't, like I said, you don't look bad. I just wouldn't really approach you like that. What's your type? She thirsty. My type. I mean. <laughs> yeah, I would love what you are physically attracted to, since you're not physically attracted yeah. to me. Which I'm not really. I mean, I like I like natural hair. Uh huh. Uh, like so I'm gonna keep it real. It's not so much like. Be honest. You can be pretty, but like the way you carry yourself can make you. Mm. I ain't gonna say ugly, but it can. Speak on it, man. So you felt like Speak I carried it. myself a, okay, aggressively. Yes. A little bit. I, like yes, I said, I don't know if it was the the drinks, but it was. No, this is it, how I okay, am all it, the time. It wasn't pleasant. I say that. It wasn't pleasant. Yeah. Do y'all all feel that way? I don't see no blue. I feel like y'all. I feel like y'all intimidated. I feel like I'm a very pleasant person. I feel like I understand the physical attraction. Me too. I pay attention to detail. I feel like you're dark skin. Your hair is pretty. You got a nice look to your, you know, face, whatever. Appreciate it. Appreciate Me personally, I wouldn't put on no Dolce Cabanas because I feel like they played out because I'm into swag or whatever the case may be. That's all good. I feel like my attitude is actually very great. I feel like any man that dates me is going to be overwhelmed with me just supporting his confidence and me building him up. I feel like that if you guys don't like a woman that likes to have a conversation or maybe disagree every once in a while, then y'all should reevaluate <laughs> re -evaluate yourself. Um, Yo. Also, as far as you saying that I'm the type of person that you feel like if we were outside and a waitress or a waiter um, said that I got into it with them or whatever you said, I'm sorry, I was kind of listening. Um, I think that is very... Um, I don't know word. I don't know how to describe it, but I mean, I go on five star dinner restaurants all the time. People make mistakes. I'm not going to fault anybody or be disrespectful because they make mistakes. But if somebody says something to me, I am going to speak my mind and then I'm going to give my man oh, a chance to give we me their that. opinion and I'm going to go back. Let's head on back. 
Thank all you. All right. Well, that is all the balloons popped. Mm -hmm. But we do thank you for coming on. Thank Let's you. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. I'll take this mic. Oh, <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Okay, girl, you better walk. <laughs> So right off the bat, the lady, the lovely lady, you know, she did come out. She came out there like a damn hurricane. She she came out there ready to tear some shit up. I can't fault her for that. The only thing is, it just blows my mind how she was confused, right? She was confused why all these men were popping their balloon. And then when they would explain to her, hey, these are things that you could work on about yourself to get a man, right? All of a sudden, it's a confidence issue. It's a, a oh, you're just looking for a man, a, a woman that you're willing to walk all over. It's not, it's not, oh, maybe I'm not coming off like a woman. That's not how women act. It's not how your grandma act. At least, at least that's how, that's not how I hope your grandma act. Because it might be, who knows? It might be a generational thing. Some of this shit we see is generational. This really ain't even about the, the current culture today. It's about some shit that happened 50 years ago, 60 years ago, that's then been passed down to us. And then now we don't really know how to perform the best way that we could, right? So it could be a generational thing. But let me know what you guys think down below. Um, Yeah, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for your boy. Pimp slap that like button for your boy. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this type of content. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Deuces, YouTube.